It's Nolan. What's going on, y'all? It's the kid, Jay Nolan here. As some of y'all should know, I reported on the entire Lizzo situation not too long ago where her dancers was coming out accusing her of fat phobic comments, overworking them, underpaying them, being generally rude, mean, and just overly demanding, forcing them to go to strip clubs and engage with strippers and actually put sexual objects in their mouths, all that type of stuff. As that case has kind of died down as far as the public opinion and people talking about it, there seems to be a whole new set of allegations that are hitting the net right now going at Lizzo. At this point, we have a former tour employee who's also suing Lizzo for the same stuff, things that happen while on the road, and she basically says that your show was hell, all right? According to legal documentation that's been obtained by TMZ, they state Miss Aisha Daniels, she says that she was hired by Amanda Nomura, which was a member of Lizzo's team, to join Lizzo's tour in 2023 to work on the wardrobe department. Daniels claims that the work was grueling, sometimes working from 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. God dang, that's what, 16 hours or something like that? 18? Also, she was refused to receive breaks. So even when she wanted to take a break, go off and do other things, she was not being permitted to do so according to what she states. Miss Daniels, you can see on the screen here, she is a black woman and she said that Nomura was brutal, often making racist and fat phobic comments, allegedly calling black women on the tour dumb, useless, and fat. So she's overhearing all of this stuff in the work environment. Daniels also claims that Miss Nomura told her she was not allowed to dress sexy around Lizzo, because Lizzo would then get jealous when her boyfriend was around other beautiful women. As you can see in the photo on the screen here, I mean, she is relatively slimmer than Lizzo. You know what I'm saying? She might be a little bit more traditionally attractive in a lot of men's eyes. Maybe she didn't want her boyfriend's eyes wandering, but if that's the case, keep his ass at home. But you know how it go in the industry. Everybody caters to the star. Whatever they do or don't want around, you gotta abide by it. During one instance, Miss Daniel says she injured her ankle when Nomura rolled a clothing rack over it. So now she's getting ran over it backstage, moving around. She says her ankle became swollen and when she wore a pair of Crocs to work, she was reprimanded and told she needed to wear standard tennis shoes. So even the Crocs were getting chastised, right? It basically sounds like nothing she could do was right. Just showing up on set to even be there for work seem like a problem after a certain point, which I can see, man, because sometimes people just, once they have a vendetta against you, they start picking you apart. Daniel says that she eventually brought all of her concerns out and believes that those concerns were relayed to Miss Lizzo, but was eventually fired before her contract was set to end. Like I said, sometimes people have a vendetta against you. Once now that you take these issues to Lizzo and the team, they go sit down, they go figure out, okay, how do we need to handle this? Get rid of her. We're not going to keep going through this. We're not going to have another PR debacle with this situation. Get rid of her ass, right? Daniels claims that her experience on the tour has left her with ongoing anxiety and PTSD, as well as migraines, ocular distortions, brain fog, and fatigue. Now, I don't know about all that. I was riding with you for a second, Miss Aisha. Okay, where are this brain fog coming from? You know what I'm saying? Like, how long have you been away from the tour? You were on the tour earlier this year, but when did you leave? Okay, PTSD, uh, I might could give you a little anxiety. PTSD, though, I don't know, fam. Especially when you were just hearing uh, third-party insults. They weren't calling you anything. You just happened to overhear some other people in the background being fatphobic, calling people stupid, calling people fat, doing all this type of stuff. But when did they say anything about your physique, your frame, or anything like that? They didn't. They tried to police what you wear, but I mean, that can happen at any workplace. Now, of course, this does fall on the piggyback of those former dancers that came out and sued Lizzo. That is an ongoing thing of sexual harassment. You know, they claim they were forced to attend sex shows. I talked about that at the top of the video. They were subjected to uncomfortable behavior. Um, and Miss Daniels is also represented by Miss uh, Niyama Romani which is the same lawyer who's working on behalf of those former dancers. So this could all be either a big coup that they're trying to put together. They're teaming up to take her down or the lawyer's like, Hey, I think you have a really strong case. I'm already representing three women. She might've went to go seek this lawyer out. Like, Hey, I've got more information. This is the things that I've witnessed. They might actually use her as a witness in the other case. Like there could be, a few different ways that they could be strategizing. 
Of course, Lizzo has denied all claims on those former dancers. Lizzo has not directly spoken out about Miss Aisha Daniels at this point, but she feels like her character has been heavily criticized, right? She says, usually I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous to not be addressed. Miss Daniels, once again, like I said, piggybacking, she's suing for sexual harassment, which I don't understand. Just trying to tell you what to wear within the workplace is not harassment and definitely not sexual harassment because nobody imposed themselves on you. They actually wanted you to be less sexy at work. I don't know. She says racial harassment. I don't know if these uh, disagreements or whatever were racially charged, but I guess she's claiming they are. She speaks on disability discrimination. I guess after her ankle was rolled over, she tried to wear Crocs. They wanted her to wear regular shoes. I don't know why anybody didn't try to get her some orthopedics. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe get her a, something to wrap her ankle. Nobody helped with that. I mean, there's other solutions. But I don't think the Crocs were necessarily going to give you everything that you needed. I mean, they're a softer, more eco-friendly choice, you know what I'm saying? But you got your ankle ran over. I mean, you really probably shouldn't have been walking on it to begin with. Furthermore, Miss Daniels is seeking damages for unpaid wages, loss of earnings because they let her go before her contract was up, and more. As of 10.06 a.m. this morning... Lizzo's team did speak out. Her spokesman, Stefan Friedman, says as Lizzo receives a humanitarian award tonight from the Black Music Action Coalition for the incredible charitable work she has done to lift up all people, an ambulance chasing lawyer tries to sully this honor by recruiting someone to file a bogus, absurd publicity stunt lawsuit who, wait for it, never actually met or even spoke with Lizzo. He continues, we will pay this as much attention as it deserves none he says we don't give a f what she talking about this girl never even met lizzo why are you suing lizzo if your problem is with amanda nomura sue her but you want to get money out of lizzo because you worked on the tour nah that's not how it's gonna go down that's basically what they saying but in the end you just never know how these things are gonna play out she does already have an outstanding case this is gonna all fall into you know characterization in court they're gonna look at history of similar claims so I don't know, man, it might get rough out here for Lizzo. I think after this year, she might need to sit down, figure out how to revise her life, her lifestyle. I mean, there was video evidence that came out that said she exactly wanted to go to those places. She took those dancers and she wanted to engage with the banana thing, which they claimed they were forced to do. So, uh, yeah, man, I don't know. It might be time for Lizzo to take a back seat, really focus on being in the studio, sticking to the script and, um, separate your personal interests from your business man if you want to be an asshat if your people want to be an asshat fire these people that are talking bad about your employees and contractors too because it seems like your assistants your minions that work under you are really the ones causing the most problems right and they're relaying information to you which also agitates you so now you're getting pulled into their mess so you might need to hire a whole new staff go through some intense counseling if you really are you know, going through grueling anger management issues or something that's hindering your professionality. Lizzo, you gotta get that shit together, man. It's a lot of people that's already against you just existing in this industry. There's a lot of people against you being out here showing off your body, doing what you do. It might be time to revise the plan. That's all I'm saying. Let me know what y'all think it is down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates and I will see y'all on the next one, all right? Much love and respect, y'all. Peace.